And there goes Steve-O. Y'all remember Steve-O? What up, Steve-O? What up? <laughs> Y'all ninjas remember Steve-O, don't you? Some of the loyal ninjas will remember Steve-O. What's going on, ninjas? It's Pop Mother Monday. What is it today? Yeah, Pop Monday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? Pop Monday. All right, man. all right, all right. My gosh! Don't yell at me, <laughs> dude. I'm not yelling at you. I was asking you what day it is today, just to confirm, make sure I'm correct. It's Pump Monday. Yeah! <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Hope you guys had a good weekend. We are here. Of course, you guys have seen this before. I kind of like to start my Pump Mondays, or I try to at least on this property. Well, because one, I like to show you the strikeies. <laughs> but also just because I have a little bit of time here. I, you know, it's kind of like an opening. I'm not in anybody's way. A lot of times when you start recording ninjas, you gotta also check out your surroundings. You gotta make sure you're not in anybody's way. You gotta make sure that customer's not waiting on you, wanting to talk to you. There's many factors involved. I got a serious situation that has been going on and I never shared it with you guys. And I feel like it is very important to share it with you. Got my lawyer involved into this situation as well but we're going to talk about the situation just a little bit because it's just a situation that happens too often but we're also going to talk about the lawyer situation the lawyer thing why involve a lawyer for one and two should you have a lawyer in your business and the answer is well stay tuned What I just noticed, I had forgotten all about I have a leak in that tire and I think I just found it. There it is. And so as I was mowing, I'm looking at the yard and I'm like, why is this not creating as nice as stripes as it used to? And I'm cutting at four and a quarter. Now it's not bad looking and I could totally get away with it because it looks pretty decent, but I'm not gonna do that. So Noah's blowing off and I'm gonna go ahead and get that little compressor again that I carry with me at all times. It's the DeWalt battery powered. But for now, let's put some air. I gotta rerun this yard because it looks freaking weird. It looks decent. I was just telling the ninjas I could totally get away with it because it looks okay. Yeah. But it doesn't have that satisfaction of ninja stripes. It does look a little funny. It does, doesn't it? So go grab that for me real quick. Let's air it up and uh, I'll go ahead and park it over here in the shade so we're not in the sun. Okay, just a real quick shot. We gotta get moving because we lost a little extra time here because of that tire, but when I notice and I say that I something's not right, it's off. It's off. So when you ever, if you ever come across with your mower where you notice something just doesn't feel right, it doesn't look right, then something's wrong with your right mower, okay? You gotta check your tires, check the pressure, check your deck, check your blades, check your belt, check your pulleys. I mean, there could it could be anything, you just don't know. So, I wasn't gonna leave, I could have totally gotten away with that because it, it looked like the yard was mowed, but it wasn't, it wasn't what I would have wanted a service to provide if I was paying somebody. And that's what you gotta look at it. You gotta put yourself in your customer's shoes. They're paying for a service. Dustin, you've got to make sure you can provide the best that you can. Not only to stand out, but also make them happy because ultimately they're paying you. They chose you. There's many options out here, all across, all over, right? Many people are doing this. What makes you stand out? You're doing the same thing everybody else is doing. 
but when the customer can see that you would do anything to try to do your best to make that yard look good for them, that goes a long way. And I could have totally walked away, but I didn't. Instead, I found the problem, I fixed it, and now it looks good. We're out of here. We'll see you the next one. All right, Ninjas, I just finished trimming this one up, Noah mode. And before he gets over here with the blower, I wanted to just show you this crepe myrtle. If you guys remember this last winter or fall, fall, winter, I think it was probably into this year, so it was winter. I ended up trimming this completely back, completely back. And I mean, all the way down to where they split. And look how it's grown. Now, the reason I'm pointing this out to you there seems to be too many Mr. Know-it-alls out here. You're not supposed to do it like this. You're not supposed to do it like that. Nah, shut your mouth. You don't know how it's supposed to be but because of that customer. You don't know how people are doing what they're doing and why they're doing what they're doing. How do you know? I just can't stand when people just quickly jump to a conclusion. When a customer requests to cut it back because they know it grows like crazy, like that one has, then you cut it back. Don't worry about what they say. Now look, crepe myrtles overall, it is freaking hot guys, 100 degrees. Now crepe myrtles overall, they're supposed to be trimmed back like a shrub, like a tree, like a, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to shave it, shape it, not actually cut it back like completely. And you seem to see more of it cut back, you know, completely than just your proper way I guess I could I would use the word but in reality ninjas what is the proper way you're not killing the tree you're doing what the customer asked you to do that's it don't worry about what people comment or what people say there's people walk driving around and pointing out creep murder creep murder Shut your mouth, man. I've got a confession to make. Ninjas? What? But Nick, tell us, Nick, tell us! Uh, uh, uh. Don't give me the butt, Nick. But we got done with this. Actually, we are on our last one, guys, and it's only 3.30, 3.45, and we've been hauling tail to get out of this heat because it's 100 degrees with humidity. It's probably past 100 because the truck right here in the probably shade. 110. 110 because right here in the shade, it's reading 96 in the shade. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Need to know what Noah! Man. I'm what? glad you brought that up. Okay. Did you know that uh, DLT Lawn Care is the real Dr. Real? DLT Lawn Care? Yeah, dude. The real doctor. Wait, the real doctor. I said nature minute with Noah, dude. No, you didn't. You didn't say nature. You just said need to know with Noah. I said need. I didn't say need. No. Did I not say? No. What? So, I thought I did. Now you need to know this. <laughs> well, I hate to inform you, but I know that DLT Lawn Care is the real doctor. Real, the oh, one and only. Know. You already knew. Yes. Should have figured. Everybody watches him. Wait, 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 wait. Do you actually watch him? Yeah, dude. You're kidding, man. Man, second favorite channel. <laughs> what's your first? <laughs> Gotta be a... Have you heard what's going on? He is actually uh, taking appointments right now. Really? Yes. Really? He's taking appointments left and right, man. Might need to call him. <laughs> set, set me up an appointment. Nature Minute with Noah! Man, I'm glad you brought that up. Okay. It's about time. All right. Did you know that a mother platypus does not have nature? Wait, wait, wait. A what? A mother platypus. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> a mother platypus. Okay. They do not feed their young, like, with nipples. They actually sweat the milk out and the young just lick their skin. Oh! Yeah. What? Yeah. Weird. They don't feed them with nipples. No, they don't, as a matter of fact, they don't have nipples, Nick. What? None. No nipples? No nipples. What kind of sad life is that without nipples? I don't know. First one that, <laughs> that I've never heard of, but. <laughs> so they sweat out the milk? Yeah. And the babies just lick the mother all over? Yep, pretty much. Like all over? Mm hmm. Now that you say it like that, it's just nasty. 
<laughs> did you ninjas know that? Because I didn't know that. That is nasty. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Uh. Why didn't you know that? I didn't know that. Uh. What? Because it's nasty. Man, I just told you though. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you, Noah. Hey, you're welcome. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Learn something every day with you. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh. I pull a Johnny Bravo. <laughs> 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 This is how it is all day with him. I'm telling you, I don't know how we get anything done. I don't know. Hope you enjoyed. Monday. Yeah. So what do you do when a customer refuses to pay you? That's right, ninjas, you heard me. What happens when the customer refuses to pay you, but they owe you? Now, I know the reason I even am bringing this up is because a lot of you ninjas out there are still on that monthly basis where you cut grass for a whole month and you send the invoice and then you got to wait for a week or two, whatever, and then until they mail it out. And then if they don't mail it out, then you got to hunt for your money and... Well, I disagree with it completely. I've always told you guys payment at the time of service is the best way to go just because of that reason. And even when you have good customers who are willing to pay you, they get busy and things happen. And when it does, you still have to chase your money. Okay. And we work hard as it is. Uh, I don't want to have to chase my money after I've provided a service, especially for a whole month. Now, a lot of you will say you can't do it any other way. Your customers are used to it. This is how you've been running your business. That's fine. So listen up. When you have a customer who doesn't want to pay you and now they're a month behind and you are hoping that they are still going to send out that payment. So you're going into the second month. Now well, you're about halfway into the second month and you're noticing now there's no payment. You send a few texts, send a few calls, messages, maybe leave voicemails, whatever it is. At this point, you're realizing they haven't paid and you're two months deep. So let's say they owe you $250 a month, just an example. And now they're $500 deep. Well, at this point, you knock on the door, you show up, you leave messages, send emails, leave voicemails, and they are not responding to you. What do you do? Well, there's two things you could do. One, you could put your tail between your legs and leave and learn from that and move on and change the way you run your business. Or you could do what I did. And that is continue to mow that yard until you build up that balance. That's right, stay on schedule. Now make sure you record, make sure you document each and every time that you showed up at that property. Okay, now you're building up that balance. Now the customer is going to be confused. They're probably going to think, look at this silly ninja. <laughs> I ain't paid him for two months. He's still cutting any gouache. <laughs> but what they don't realize is you're doing something different. You're building up that balance, ninjas, so that way you make it worth your wild to take it to court. Now, what I have done when I had a customer fall behind on me is I actually have a lawyer that I pay for the whole year. It's a yearly service. And I advise you and recommend to you to go ahead and sign up with a lawyer. So that way you have a lawyer for your business. Now I think the fee, everybody, every state is probably gonna be different, but the fee is probably a couple hundred bucks a year, five, six, seven, eight hundred bucks a year. But that doesn't include now if you ever were to get into some serious cases that there's not going to be more money required. But what that does cover is if you ever run into a situation where customers refuse to pay you, they will send out a letter, a legal letter stating such and such is owed. And if they don't pay by such and such and date that you will take further action. It is priceless to have that type of a service. So once my lawyer did that, this was a while ago, and once my lawyer did that and mailed that in, I got my payment just like that. Even the one where I built up that balance. 
I got the full amount. So what happened? Well, I caught their bluff, right? They were messing with me and they got scared and paid as they should have. Because if they didn't, it would have gone further. Not to mention paying the fee to a lawyer to have one for your business to have your back is also a tax write-off. So it's a benefit for you in that aspect of things too. I would recommend each and every one of you to have a lawyer. Now I'm not saying you need to get into this when you're first starting, but definitely look into it as you start to get some serious momentum going with your business. You start to get a lot of commercials, you start to get a lot of residentials, you have picked up some speed, okay? Get a lawyer. Now you can go a different route on that. You could also take it to a small civil court. Now you're gonna have to pay some court fees and things of that nature. And it's it can get a hairy it can be a hairy situation the confession i have to make is ninjas we are a ninja nation strong and sometimes ninjas you go through life and you learn things you see things you hear things you learn things you we all are defying ourselves and learning about ourselves and who we are and what we go through whether it's in business relation aspect of it or just personal life and so what I'm here to tell you is that I feel like that I have steered a little bit from the roots of the ninjas. And I would like to apologize for that because when I have steered, I feel like I wasn't myself and I have also lost myself. Which is not fair to the all-time loyal ninjas out there who support me and the channel, which is ultimately what has built this channel to begin with. It's the roots, man. It's the loyalty is key, ninjas for life, ninja nation. And so I would like to just say, I apologize for that. It's time to get back on track. I am human, people make mistakes, but you know what? What is important is not that you make mistakes, is that you realize it and get back on track. You will, same thing in business, make mistakes in your business all the time. Maybe a couple every year. What's different is, is once you learn from those mistakes and you never go back. Where you fail as an entrepreneur and a business owner and as an individual is when you don't learn from your mistakes and you keep repeating the cycle over and over. So, something to chew on as well. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope that tip has helped you. And I hope you enjoyed Pump Monday. It was a good day. We got everything done. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace!